got some photos today that are gonna make you say, oh no. This photo will make you say, oh no. Like, look at that. That's what I used to look like. And you guys didn't tell me. Okay, you guys told me in some of my first videos and yeah. But happy holidays, man. To celebrate, I got bubble wrap. Oh, jeez. Oh, now my bubble wrap's all tied up. Kind of like my girlfriend was last night. Ooh. But anyway, before we get started, everybody, please be sure to get yourself some of the, the new Get That Out of Here hoodie, man. Some of the dang merch. Just click that first link in the description below, teespring.com slash store slash dang Matt Smith. All the cool kids are doing it. These new designs were designed by myself and my good friend, Ana East. So be sure to check her out. Got her at right here. So if you're looking for somebody to help you design some merch or just designs in general, hit her up, check her out. All the cool kids are doing it. Now, let's Let's go ahead and check out some of these photos that are gonna make you say, oh no. And everybody comment down below what you want for Christmas or what you want for the holidays or Hanukkah or New Year's. Let me know. Here we go, let's do it, man. Number one, here we go. We got, oh, <laughs> that really wasn't even on purpose. That made me say like, oh no. Like you got a clown in a sketchy van that says free candy. Man, I, I ain't got that big of a sweet tooth. I don't want candy that bad, man. Unless you got some Snickers. If you got Snickers, I might, okay. I might, I might have to go to the van if you got some Snickers. This dang clown is illegally parked trying to get kids some free candy. Gosh dang, man, I swear Penny Wise, his little brother ain't doing too well. Trying to get some free candy, man. You just know that this clown is a sex offender. I mean, you already saw me some sort of pervert. Who drives a van that says free candy, man? To be honest, you're probably not even gonna get kids. You're gonna get like some grown men. Some grown men and women that have a cheat day and want some candy. Man, everybody hashtag boy, you better get that out of here. Crazy clown, man, you up on private property. This parking is for the US bank building only, okay? You can't be parking here trying to get your side hustle on and give kids some free can't, well, that's not even a hustle if it's free. Dang, the more you know. Moving on, we got free cut. Why is everything free today? Yeah, I'ma go into a deep, dark hole and then, you know, get a free cuddle. No, I'll catch me one of those rabbits that's always outside of my door. I'll catch that rabbit and I'll give me a free cuddle with the little rabbit, yeah. That's not even funny, man. You know there's gonna be some crazy, brave teens trying to show off who are gonna go and investigate that hole. White teens. I'm sorry, man, I don't care how bad my childhood was. I don't want a free cuddle. Not if I have to go into the deep, sketchy Ninja Turtle sewer. Mm -mm, not today. But you know what, man, it could have been worse. So it's, it's all good. Oh, it's worse. It's worse. It's Slender Man. Slender Man in the department store trying to fold some pants. What? That is the creepiest mannequin I've ever seen in my life. Hey, you crazy mannequin. If you don't get back and play some defense, like, what is this? You got a mannequin that's a dang NBA player. This mannequin looks like it should be guarding LeBron James. I don't know how you found some pants that fit you, but I mean, dang, what is that? Like a size 82 long? Shaq doesn't even wear pants that long. I mean, hey, good for you, man. It looks like your diet is working. You didn't go to that van to get yourself some free candy. No, not today. Does this store not want people to visit it? Like, if I saw that thing, I don't care what's on clearance, what's on the, the sales rack, man. I'm, I'm getting up on out of there. I swear, good luck trying to give this mannequin a high five. But if you need somebody to reach the pants that are on the very top shelf, he's your guy. Or he's your woman. Or she, whatever. Yeah. Another one. We're, ooh, that can't be real. No, that cannot be real what is what is that oh no i think i've seen one of these things on like national geographic or animal planet i think it's called a coconut crab hey siri show me photos of a coconut crab <gasps> here are some images from the web oh my god <gasps> what these things are real you've got to be kidding me man it's a it's a coconut crab man like what in the heck like look, look at that look at the flick of the wrist man and guess what color this man is who's standing right next to the coconut crab i will give you a hint he's not black gosh dang man that deserves a pop of bubble wrap Man, if you ever want yourself some good crab legs, you better get up on this crab right here. This crab could feed a family of 13. Gee. So, man, you was just chilling in the woods. You was just walking in the woods, probably trying to find Slender Man. And then you found this king crab, this dang coconut crab. I bet you this crab doesn't even taste like coconut, man. False advertisement. All right, I can't, man. We got to keep it going. Moving on. Oh, what is that? 
feet. Oh my gosh, is that like a moth or is that a millipede? It's like a moth that has like claws. Oh, or this moth has like a parasite or something. Man, Ugh, it's like half moth, half spider, half ugly. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude to the moth. I know the moth has feelings. Okay, but dang, man, you is you is not the most good looking. <laughs> Moth out there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man I swear this moth could like eat food mess with some flower petals and do his taxes all at the same time Okay, I swear if I see this moth up in my place. I am moving out quicker than you could say Saskatchewan Okay, okay, wait, wait, don't say it that fast because that was, that was kind of fast But I mean if I saw it, I'd be out of here like seriously you crazy moth Why were you created man like dangs? We don't need any of these up in there. I'm sorry I can't look at you anymore, man, but we, we got to go on to the next one. What do we got? We got <sighs> Welcome to the clown motel who would stay at a clown motel. I mean besides other clowns so is it like a motel where they only allow clowns? Like, is it, do they discriminate against non-clowns? I want to know. I stand for equal clown rights, so this is not gonna fly. And that clown is scarier than the one that was handing out free candy. I swear, man, there's nothing scarier than a clown with a cane. Because then he can, like, beat you with it. No, man, not today. And, of course, there's actually cars parked there. So there's people staying at this creepy clown motel. I bet you this clown motel serves nothing but coconut crap. Crabs and, and creepy moths. You could probably get a pretty good price though. Like per night, it's probably like $13 a night. Nope, not doing it, man. You ain't gonna catch me up in there, boy. You better get that out of here. And you better get that out of here, man. Get some of the merch, man. You got the boy, you better on the sleeve, man. Squad, yeah, check it out, yeah. Link in the description. Get some. I swear, I'm tired of all these clowns, man. Okay, I have a problem with clowns, all right? I don't want them up in my neighborhood. Okay, that sounds racist. I'm a, I just don't want creepy clowns next to me, okay? Dang. Is that too much to ask, not having a creepy clown, you know, just running the parking lots? Man, I don't know, but... Oh, that's a nest. You got a nest. Ooh. Okay, everybody comment down below what kind of nest that is. I think it's like a wasp nest. And it's right next to the fire alarm. So if there's a fire, you can't warn anybody because you gotta go and deal with the wasps just to pull it down. You have to risk getting stung in order to alert everybody else. I'm sorry, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk on out. I'm gone. Everybody else, they'll figure it out, man. They'll figure it out. And the caption says, I guess we will all just burn. No, no. You gonna just burn. I'm gonna run up on out of there. Shoot, I'm gonna get up on out of there and I bet you I'll stay at the clown Motel. Okay, no, I'm not gonna stay at the clown motel. All right, I will stay at a hotel motel or a holiday inn. How you gonna let this happen? You, you just gonna let a bunch of wasps build a nest next to the fire alarm? Have you guys not had a fire in that long? Dang, just have somebody clean it out, man, or you know, get the hose and just wash them down, wash it all down. Okay, man, another one. Oh! <laughs> What is that, man? Like, seriously, what that? Is? Oh my gosh, man. Gosh dang, it's Annabelle's cousin. That is one creepy doll, man. Found this at my job. I think I am cursed now. Yeah, yeah. You find that at your job? You're done, man. You can close the curtains. Somebody sent that to you as a warning. You know, they're, they're coming for you, man. That's a creepy doll. And why does that doll look so angry? I guess I'd be angry too if I was wrapped in plastic like that. So, you know, I don't blame the doll. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I feel like I did disappointed the doll like the doll is angry at me for not taking it to get ice cream or so I don't know man you know that this is gonna be the worst Christmas present that anyone's ever gotten okay no more creepy things man can we keep it like <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay, dang. I mean, like, w w why? Look, you creepy clown. I don't have any pie. Okay, dang. Santa Claus doesn't even see you when you're sleeping like that. Wow, he knows when you're awake, man. Okay, you know what? Maybe he just wants to borrow some milk. You know, he poured a bowl of cereal and then realized he didn't have any milk, so he's, you know, knocking on the window to see if he could borrow some milk. No, he's trying to kill you, man. Dang. He's coming after you, looking through the window like that. Oh, or maybe this clown is a pervert that's all that's it man he doesn't want to hurt you he just he's just a pervert he's just trying to catch somebody in their underwear that's all Woo, man that's a lot less harmless than okay that's still pretty bad but you know anyway man guys dang this clown must be lonelier than my dms wow but you know what it could have been wor okay no it couldn't have been worse man you got a clown outside your window and you can't even pull the fire alarm to let people know because there's wasps in it you can't stay at a clown motel because there's clowns there man jeez it's ridiculous man oh there's no way to win. Okay, okay, let's keep it going, man. We got, oh, <laughs> 
That's kind of funny. That's, you got three dang tigers just chilling in a ghetto hot tub. Hey, look, tigers need to relax too. You know, they got they got problems. You know, they don't have bills to pay, but you know, they probably got home from a tough day of hunting and you know, they didn't get that antelope, you know, so so they just need sometimes they just need to soak. They just need to soak it in and, and just relax. These three tigers are like, hey, stay on your side, bro. You stay on your side, I'll stay on my side. Come on, guys, it's all the same nasty water. It doesn't matter, and you know, you know, just just have some fun. I don't know who wanted to build a tiger bath, but dang, good for you. I guess you're, you know, hashtag save the tigers. Hey, which one of y'all is Tony the Tiger? Cause they're great. <laughs> Sorry, man. I meant to get me some Frosted Flakes, but I forgot. I was at the grocery store. I was in the cereal aisle, and then I just, I just forgot, man. I'm sorry. I mean, why do these tigers kind of look like humans? Like the way they're just sitting, like just sitting, chilling in the cold tub. Man, I've never seen three tigers just chill in a dang bath like that. Like, man, that's ridiculous. I bet you one thing, you ain't gonna catch me up in that water. No, not because I can't swim. I can swim, but there's tigers in there, so no. Moving on, we got bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Starbucks is savage, man. Starbucks is more savage than my necklace, man. And it says my name is Derek. Oh, that's messed up. Why would they do that? Man, seriously, I would have sued Starbucks if they wrote that on my coffee cup. They're gonna write bald guy, man. On my coffee cup, it'd probably say black guy. Man, that ain't right. That's just mean. Like, why do you have to write bald guy? Like, like, boy, just write his name. And if you don't know his name, just ask for his name. As simple as that. You don't have to resort to adjectives and, you know, trying to describe the dude. Oh, yeah, uh, the, the, the bald guy, yeah. Man, you really lowered this person's self-esteem. I bet you it was probably a girl, too. I mean, you know, you, you don't know. Uh, this poor person ain't going to this coffee shop anymore. What do you even order? You order decaf with milk. Jeez, man. Well, growing up to be big and strong, but just with no hair on your head. So, um, you know, it's all good. It's all good. You'll be, you'll be okay. Okay, last one. We all oh, heck no. <laughs> <laughs> you got Ugg Crocs? Croc Uggs? No. That's the worst invention known to man. Man, wow. You gonna mix Uggs with Crocs. Man, crocodiles wouldn't even wear these Crocs. Jeez. Crocs have openings and Uggs are to keep you warm. Like, are you trying to stay warm or, or stay cool? With some shoes like that, you definitely ain't trying to stay cool. This right here, this is how to get slapped 101. This is the fastest way to get made fun of. You got some Croc Uggs, some Ugg Crocs. Crocs, boy, you better get that out of here. Woo, man, we made it past these photos that will make you say, oh no. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, please give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel, helps it grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. All the cool kids are doing it. And add me on Instagram, at DangMattSmith. Road to a million. Let's get the Instagram to a million. And please click that first link in the description below. Get some of the Dang merch, man. That Get that out of here. Teespring.com slash store slash DangMattSmith. And yeah, happy holidays. Be sure to comment down below what you want for Christmas or what you want for Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, or what you want for the end of the year. Comment it below, click on the screen, check out another video, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace.